Hello, Columbus City Schools families. My name is Deborah Johnson, and I'm the secretary at Coleraine Elementary School. I'm so excited to welcome you to another episode of Together We Read CCS. Being a strong reader is such a valuable skill, and we're not just talking about reading in school. These are skills that will help us in every aspect of our lives. Today's book is All Because You Matter, and it's written by Tammy Charles, a New York Times bestselling author and special guest at October's Pathway Express Family and Community Resource Day. This book holds a special message for our students, especially our black and brown students. And I want to leave you filled with hope, assurance, and love. All because you matter. They say that matter is all things that make up the universe, energy, stars, space. If that's the case, then you, dear child, matter. Long before you took your place in this world, you were dreamed of like a knapsack full of wishes carried on the backs of your ancestors as they created empires, pyramids, legacies. Building, inventing, working beneath red hot suns and cold blue moons thinking of you years ahead because to them you matter. On the night you were born, stars sprayed across the sky, each one full of light, hope, love, and all the moments in your life that would matter. Like your first steps, bare feet planted on a cold floor, hobbling, wobbling, toppling, only to stand and try again. Or your first words spoken almost like a lullaby, notes climbing a ladder to the sky, mama, papa, maha kita or the first time you opened a book like a mirror staring back at you and you really saw yourself. Same hair, same skin, same dreams. The words and pictures coming together like sweet jam and toast, musica blasting through barrios, sun in the blue sky, all because you matter. But in the galaxies far away, it may seem that light does not always reach lonely planets, covered moons, stars unseen, as if matter no longer exists. And just like moons hidden in the dark, there will be times when you too will question your place in the universe. Like the time you'll hear the teacher call your names, Hassam, Uzumaka, Jordis, and the whispers and giggles begin followed by, what kind of name is that? Or the time you'll see a letter big, bold, red on a page, and you will question if you and your work and your effort matter. Or the time when your pop pop turns on the news and you see people everywhere take a breath, take a stand, take a knee. And you hear pop pop's whispered prayers and another name is called Trayvon, Tamir, Philando, and you wonder if they or you will ever matter. But did you know that you do? Did you know that you were born from queens, chiefs, legends? Did you know that you are the earth, that strength, power, and beauty lie within you? Did you know that you are the sun rays, calm like ocean waves, tough like montañas, magic like stars in space. And on the day the universe was created, you were thought of, dreamed of, carried like a knapsack full of wishes as planets, stars, moons took their place, making room for you, your people, their dreams, your future, all because since the beginning of time, you mattered they matter, we matter, and always will. What a powerful book. From the words to the illustrations, I hope this story resonates with all of you. And to echo our author, you matter. You have always mattered. You will always matter. Thanks so much for joining. Together we read CCS. We can't wait to bring more stories to you throughout the year.